Hello and welcome to the TrueSight Operation Management Continuous Learning Series for Events View. In this session, we are going to see how user can use the different advanced filter options available to filter out the events. This is Akshat Nimbalkar, Lead Product Developer at BMC. Let's see if user want to have any of the other combination which are more of the advanced kind of filters. Yes, you can do that as well because each event has 80 slots and user should have an option to create any kind of filter condition they want okay and those advanced filter condition you can create by clicking on this action menu there's option of create custom filter you click on custom filter it will ask you the top filter for the status and severity let's say i want to filter the events for the critical and the severity you have an option to choose whether you want to see the associated events for the applications groups or devices as well so this is one more additional uh, uh, you know option which is available right now I am not selecting any of these options but I am going further for the advanced filter option where you can pick up a certain class so I say I want to see all the core events with the status equal to open acknowledge and severity as critical in the major when I select class as the core event this is my top class for the event so it's going to include all the subclasses as well I want that and then next I say is that okay I want to have all the event classes with message so, so if you see as soon as I add the class this additional advanced condition row is getting added over here now these are the different options you can do okay these are the slots for the events that you have chosen over here let's see if I remove the message you see the whole list of you know the slots which are available you can create the conditions based on any of the slot you want for simplicity I am taking the message over here right now for each slot there is a data type linked and based on the data type so let's say the message is string type you will see the string type supported operator over here if you change this message to let's say date formatted then you are going to see the date type operators available here and accordingly your slot value what you're going to give that is also going to get changed so let me again go back to the message I want I want to see the events with the status and severity condition that I have already given contains let's say disconnected okay okay so you see this is what the advanced filter condition that is getting applied just now I've created and uh, so for class equal to core event and the message contains disconnected and the status what I picked up and the severity what I picked up for which this is the filtered list that I can see so this is my uh, custom filter which I've applied now let's say if I want to save this um, filter for my future references so in the future also I should be able to use that you have an option of saving the new filter over here I say this is my disconnect event filter I say okay and this new filter is going to get saved as soon as the filter is going to get saved you see that is being listed over here with other custom filters that you have so this is my disconnect filter if I click on these names those specific custom filters are going to get applied so thank you for watching the video